guys, welcome to a new day workout. This is workout 201. And we have a pairing exercise. Two pairs of uh, exercises in each uh, item. Eight of eight pairs. So we'll have a strength uh, or core exercise and a cardio. So this, ex this workout is for low impact, high impact, with equipment or without. So it's for everybody, so no excuses. Okay, so I will show you, I'll be doing the high impact, but I will show you the low impact. Um, I will show you without weight, and of course I'll be using the weight, uh, but you can do this without equipment, so uh, good for my daughter who's in a dorm that's want to do a workout. Um, so for anybody, okay? So here is the workout. Mm -hmm. Here it all is. So the first exercise is going to be our strength or core exercise, and the next uh, exercise is a cardio. Okay, so it is a 32 minute workout, 32 and a half, yeah, 32 even. Um, eight Tabatas, four rounds through, because we're going through each round twice, each exercise, because there is a T-pose, so we'll be balancing, doing a T-pose on one leg, 50 seconds, and then go up to the next exercise, which is a single leg curl and lat raise, and then do the other leg. Okay, so timer, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest or 10 seconds to get ready for the next exercise. Um, not a lot of rest, so I want you to keep going, keep your heart rate up, uh, get through the cardio. If you're even doing low impact, I want you to really work hard, get your heart rate up, and have a towel and water handy. Make sure you warmed up before we start because I've warmed up and I'm ready to go. So let's get going. The first one is a single arm push up. So we're on the floor, so I'm gonna start the timer. Here we go. I'll get down first. So a single arm push up. Laying down, hands are by your chest. You're going to be pressing up with one arm and tapping your foot onto the other side. So my right arm is bending, left arm is lifting me up, coming down to the center and switching. The other arm, my right arm now is lifting me up. Okay, it's a great tricep push up. Great way to work the arms without realizing it. Well, the prima donna push up as well. Okay, here we go. So lift and tap, lift and tap, side to side. Sway, press up, all the body weight presses up. So keep your hands by your chest here, press up. Straighten that arm, just that one arm, and tap your foot in the back. Breathe, exhale, as you're pushing up. Good job. seconds. Two and one. And now we go to speed skaters. So high impact. You're doing a little hop and skate and, and pushing that leg back. Low impact. You're just staying bent and pressing that leg back. Okay, low impact, no hop. High impact, you can have a little hop. Get that leg far back. Or you can go side to side if you don't want to bring the leg back. Working the adductors and quads and glutes. That's the way I get your heart rate up here. Keep going, you got it. seconds. Three, two, and one. Back on the floor. Put your prima donna push-up or single arm push-up. This one. Press up and tap. So my foot tapping in the back. Maybe my shoulders are blocking. Hands by your chest, press it up. It's important to have them close to your body and down by your chest, right under your shoulders. That way you're working more of the tricep muscle. And 
go at your own pace. Do the best you can. 10 seconds. Get a few more in. Two and one. Nice job. Back to our speed skaters. So really extend that leg far back, the more room you have. Try to keep your upper body in one spot. Get those legs to go back. And don't bend over too much. Let me read your shirt. Keep your chest up. What's on your shirt? Let me see. Good job. I just don't want you bending over so much to get your back in there. All legs. So if you can't touch, you're reaching out. Okay. Opposite hand to foot. 10 seconds. You got it. We go on to number two. Okay, low plank knee taps. So you're on the floor. Low plank position on your forearms. There we go. Shoulder over your elbows. Stomach tight. Press back on your heels. And we're tapping our knees. Knee tap, knee tap. Stomach tight. Raise up from your shoulders. Don't keep the, get the butt up. And don't sway it down either. Nice straight line. Just tap your heels. You got it. Nice and little. Tap, tap. Quick taps. Breathe. 10 seconds. How quick that goes by. Then we're doing a mountain climber stand up. That's what MC is. So you're going to be in mountain climber position. Down here, you're going to pump your legs. One, two. The leg that's in front is going to stabilize you and bring that knee up. Back, back down, pump. One, two. Same leg is going to be in the front because we're going to switch. Pump, pump, and knee up. Low impact. Step, step, step. Knee up. Bring that uh, leg forward. Bring that knee up. Stomach tight. Balance. Knee pump. That's fine. This is great for the glutes and you're getting your heart rate up. Same leg should be in front. We'll switch off next time. Ten seconds. Get two more in. Nice. Okay, back to the ground. You're going to do your low plank. Knee tap. Little plank. Press out through the heels and tap your knees. That's why. Make sure your shoulders over your elbows. Rise up. Strong. Stomach tight. I want you to be breaking that band, that nice strong line from your to your heel just to bring your knee down and back up. Nice strong legs. Like a taut rubber band. Just topping it and letting it go back into place. Good job, five. Okay, now back to the mountain climber, this time with your left leg forward. Okay. Pump. Knee comes up. Balance. Back down. That's the way. If you have trouble getting down to the ground, with your hands in the fist rubber position, then you can use the wall and pump, 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 knee up, okay? Don't
don't give up because you think you can't do it. They're always a, it's always a modification for you until you can do this. Nice job. Okay, we move on. Y squat and a side lunge with a lift. Now, the side lunge with the lift, we're going to add a towel. So, arms up in a Y, wide stance, to pointing out, squat down, and stand. Squeeze your glutes. Now, your arms in a Y, they're straight, no bend in the elbows, and you're squeezing your shoulder blades back. Squat and raise, squat and raise. Okay, squeeze the glutes when you're standing up. Toes are pointing out, deep squat as deep as you can go before you start to bend forward. Okay, I want you to stay back. And go. Squat, strong arms. This is great back work without even realizing. Working all those back muscles, holding your arms up and squeezing your shoulder blades. Okay, now a side lunge and lift. Grab your towel. So you're gonna hold it in front of you. Let's go to the left side. Side lunge, row, and lift. Side lunge, stay in the lift. Side lunge, and lift. I forget the row. And lift. Pull it towards you, and lift. Keep it strong and out front. I forgot again. <laughs> and lift. Lunge, and lift. Whenever you want to do the pull. <sighs> kind of goofing it up here. I just threw that in instead of just doing a lunge and lift. Work the legs, work the upper body. Get it all done at one time. So now I want you to focus on your bottom part. Feet are forward. You're sitting into that, that leg and then pressing off and lifting up. Remember which side you just worked. So do the next side. My squat. and squeeze. Squeeze in the glutes. All the way up. Strong arms. No bend. It's not a U. It's a Y. Actually, it's more like an X, isn't it? Because my legs are out too. X squat. <laughs> squeeze your glutes. Down. Squeeze, deep squat, down, squeeze, quiet. try to go deeper each time. You got it, only 10 seconds left. Come on, bring those arms up. Squeeze, two more, one more, and time, good job. All right, grab your towel. Nice job, side lunge and lift. Out in front, nice and strong, to the right side, and lift, to the right side, and lift. Feet are forward, sit down to that, that knee, get your butt back. Whenever you want to do the pull. I like doing it when I pull in and lift, pull in and lift. So you got both legs working, left leg stabilizing, pulling you up. Right leg, you feel it in your adductors, especially in your left leg too. That's the way. Keep that towel taut. No saggy, no ripple. You got it. Five. Nice. All right, so we move on to the goblet squat. So this one, I want you to use a heavy weight because you will be squatting and just holding a weight. So I have a 20 pound here. If you don't have a weight, you can use a water bottle while you're doing, holding it under your chin, squatting down. I want you to try to get the elbows to the knees. Squat and stand. Grab something, grab something that has a heavy weight because what you're doing is having to stand. Come down, it's easy to come down standing. You're really using the legs to raise you up holding that heavy weight. Stomach tight, squat down, raise up. My toes are slightly pointing out. Watch your knees, make sure they don't go over the toes. 
They're in line with your toes. Good job. Squat down. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Nice. And then we're doing a weed puller. So that one you're going to use lighter weight or no weight at all. And you're in a slightly squatted stance. And you're going to pull the So without weight, you're pulling those weeds. Pull, 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 pull. Okay? That's what I want. Elbows up. Pull. Stomach tight. Pull those, we uh, those elbows way high. Reach down. So you're working your obliques, working your arms, working your legs. Stomach tight. Should be feeling this in your stomach now. You got it. Fast. Pull, pull, pull. Whatever you want to think of you're doing in this position. Um, pounding. I know. Like saying pull weeds. Pulling a rope. Pull, pull, taking, taking each arm, doing the work. Okay, back to the goblet squat. So heavy weight. Challenge yourself here. All right. And squat and stand. Breathe. Nice job. to the, the plank taps. Oh, we still have to do our weed pull. Oh, I almost missed it. Number five. I almost skipped right over it. Good job. Squat and squeeze your glutes. You got it. Finish it off. And keep this heavy weight handy because we will be doing a chest press. And I'm gonna try doing it with a heavy weight. Slight bend in your knees. Pull, get those elbows up high. And pick up your pace. Come on. Hello, sleepy boy. Hi. Maybe Andy in here with me. That's the way, guys. Pull, pull. You're gonna rest your arms in a minute. Come on, work it. Elbows high. You got it. Make some noise. Join me in making noise. Five seconds. Woo wee. Nice. Okay. So now we're going to a cat push-up and then a high knee pump singles. So push-up position. Push-up and now you're going to stretch it out. Look at your toes, butt up. Back into push-up position. Another push-up and stretch. If you need to go on your knees here, go on your knees, do your push-up, come up onto your toes, do your down dog stretch. Gives you a nice little rest. Back into it. Next way, guys. Ten seconds. One more. So this one is your fast twitch muscle working. So I want you to pump. One, two, one, two. That's your low impact. One, two, stomach tight, fast. You're pumping. Pump, 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 pump. Pump those knees up. Stomach tight. Raise it up. Really bring it up. Stop that floor. Boom, boom. If you're doing low impact, I want you to still Go fast. You don't need to be doing the bounce. But keep the intensity up. Up 
opposite arm matches the knee. You got it. Okay, back to our push up. Good job, guys. This is the end. Last one. Woo wee. Good job. That's your last push up. All right, back to your pumps. Pumps, pumps. It's a very rainy day here today. And Irene in the rain had the most fun running in a long time. I loved it. It's funny, two neighbors pulled up next to me and said, do you need a ride home? I loved running in the rain. hear you today because I did not do my hair. Apologize for my wild luck. But we're here to work out, right? Keep those knees going. Good job. All right. So now we go to the Yugi Plank Taps. So if you don't have a ball or something to elevate off of, you're just going to do plank position and you're just going to tap. Okay, otherwise you're up on the ball and you're balancing. This is more challenging because it's an unstable surface, but do the best you can. Find a, find a book, find a block, something that you can raise up on and tap off of it. You got it. So make sure your stomach is tight, the butt is down, your shoulders are over your wrists. And you're tapping. And in time. Nice job. Okay, so now the Yugi crunch. You're going down onto the floor and doing a crunch. If you don't have a ball, you're just going to be keeping your legs head 90 and doing a lift. If you do, you're lifting it up. The extra weight is challenging your lower abs and we're lifting elbows back, lift straight up. Just put something with weight on your legs and keep them lifted. You got it. Chin to the ceiling, lift and lower, exhale, exhale. Good job. Nice. Now we go back to our taps. <clears throat> A little sweaty. Up and tap. Side to side. Get in position. Oops. So if this is too challenging, please don't quit. Go down onto a level surface and keep on doing your plank taps. You got it. Or just do a hold. Good job. Work your 
yourself. That's how you're going to get stronger. Okay, back to our crimp. resting on top of my legs. You could squeeze it between your legs for extra challenge. So you're working your adductors as well, holding the ball in place. So then after this, we're going to stay down on the floor because we're going to do a chest press in a bridge position. So just pull your weights on over to you. Finish off our abs here. Slight hold behind your head, lift up to the ceiling. You got it. Nice. All right. So, if you don't have weights, then you're just going to work on. Let me pull this over. I don't know if I can do this 20. Okay, bridge. Squeezing your glutes on your heels, and you're doing a chest press. Pressing up whatever you have. I'm going to try, oh my goodness, <laughs> oh sheesh, here we go, once I get in position it's easier, squeeze your glutes, stay up high, press, You want nice tank top arms? This is what you want to be working. All right, and the other part oh, is bird dog. So you're going to roll over, working our back on all fours. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Straighten that leg out, reach. Someone's pulling your arm, someone's pulling your leg. Pulling you from both ends. Stretch, hold it for one, two, and change. One, two, and switch. Reach. I want a tight glute here. Point your toe and reach it out. No bend in the leg. Nice and straight. Someone's pulling your arm. You're lengthening. You're going to be taller after this workout. Reach. You got it. Pull. Neutral spine. Just look down. Don't stress your neck. Reach. Nice job. Okay, back to the chest press. All right, let's see. Up the bridge and press. So again, I'm on my heels, squeezing my glutes, pressing it up. Bring them together at the top. Elbows hit the floor and pop right back up. Nice job. You're not going to get huge by doing heavier weights. Women aren't made to be big muscle bound creatures. We don't have the testosterone, so work hard. You're toning up your muscles, you're getting stronger. It just makes you a stronger person. You got it. Nice job. All right, back to the bird dog. Oh, we don't want these. Oh my goodness. Reach. Reach. I want you to hold it so you can feel that squeeze in your glute. One, two, squeeze, and then switch. One, two. One, two. You got it. Make sure you're squared up. Shoulders over your wrists. Knees under your hips. Good job. Now we're going 
to our last one. So this is a T pose. So you're just balancing on one leg. All right, balance. Arms out by your side. Hinge over, flatten your back, and bring your leg up behind you. So here's your T. So you want to feel this in your hamstrings, looking down at the floor. Arms nice and straight out to the side. So if it's getting too easy for you, I want you to bend a little bit more. Bring that leg up higher. There you go, find something on the floor to look at. Nice strong legs. You have 10 seconds, come on, you can do it. Strengthening your ankles. Three, two, and one. Nice, okay, now grab your weights, if you have them. Uh, and this is a single leg, so I'm gonna stand on the same leg that I just worked. Bicep curl for that raise. So balancing, bicep curl, bring it down, and a lateral raise. Curl, and a lateral raise. I went with a lighter weight. I can go heavier with my curl, but not with my lat raise. So without hurting my shoulders, I'm staying light and strengthening them this way. I swim, so I don't want to do anything to hurt my shoulders. And 50 seconds of this is challenging enough. But if you can go heavier, definitely go heavier. I'm gonna listen to your own body. Nice, all right. Weight stay close, and you're gonna T-pose with the other leg. Focus on something, bring that leg up, nice and straight, point your toe. You got it. Lots of ankle strength going on here. Okay, <laughs> it's shaking too. So working your core muscles, keeping you balanced here, and only your legs working, your whole core. So stand nice and tall, stomach tight, and lift. So I'm going on vacation. I hope to do a uh, video while on vacation. I'm going to Amsterdam and to Belgium. So I hope to have an awesome background for you to see while I do a workout. It's a biking vacation, so I might not feel like doing a workout, but I can, I think I can fit 20 seconds, uh, 20 minutes in <laughs> for a workout. Okay, I think I should say, yay, finished. Nice job, guys. Okay, so let's do a little stretch. Down onto the floor. First, let's take a deep breath. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in, so exhale. And take it down only if you're, if you're red to faced and you know, your heart rate is up high, walk around, cool down for a minute before you take it down, okay? Because you don't want to get lightheaded. So we're down to the ground, right leg comes up, point and flex. Pull back on your calf, I can feel this in my hamstring. Point and flex. The more I flex it, where I feel it going all the way down my leg. That's the way. So nice light pull behind my calf. Roll your foot around in a circle. 
Your ankles did a lot of work today, holding you up, balancing you in the other direction. Good job. Okay, now cross it over your left leg and raise your left leg. Press back on your right knee, opening up your hip flexor. Breathe, relax. If this is too difficult, then just keep it bent and do the um, press. Okay, drop your right leg, keep your left leg up, pull back on your calf, point and flex. Ah, oh, this feels so good. Roll your foot around in a circle. And the other direction. Now cross it over, straighten up, and then press back. Good job. Press, 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 press. I want you to feel this in your hips, in your hip flexors. Okay, release, hug your knees into your chest, deep breath in. Slowly roll up, slow, slow. Breathe out, all right? up, bend your left leg, straighten your right, flex your foot, and lift and lower. Keep it flexed, tight muscles, strong. You got it. Now cross over, hug that knee into your chest, okay? It's up off the floor. Such a great glute stretch, okay? Now look behind you. The more you stretch now, the less you'll be sore tomorrow and the next day. Okay, switch legs, flex, lift and lower, flex. Keep it strong, strong leg, tight muscles. Now cross it over, hug your knee into your chest, and look behind you. Bring that leg up high, squeeze, feel it in your glutes. All right, come to center, let's lay it down, cross over, grab your ankles, and then pull them in. Oh, another nice glute stretch. Good job, guys. Nice way to relax now. Worked hard, switch legs. Pull it in. Job. Okay, relax, release, roll up. You can do some more leg stretches. You can do the pigeon, but we're gonna go into shoulders, big circles. You can go back to it and forward. Okay, right on the cross, roll your wrist around in a circle. And the other direction, your arms, uh, your wrists help you with your push ups and your. Mountain climbers, press down between your shoulder blades. And then one more. Stretch all your muscles. Left arm across, roll your wrist around in a circle, big circles. And the other direction. And press down between your shoulder blades. So my son is in Hong Kong right now on his way to India. Yes, I'm an empty nester. Miss my kids. Anyway, so you're my, my motivation to work out. We're in this together. <laughs> okay, so stand up, deep breath in. Exhale. All right, so that's your workout. Finish stretching a little bit more if you want to. Hydrate, refuel. I'll see you next time. And it should be a nice uh, background, hopefully. Okay, take care. Bye.